my name is Jennifer Levinson and you're watching What's Today? Today is March 30th, 1867 and the United States just bought a little present for itself. Named Alaska. Alaska. North America's hat. First inhabited 12,000 years ago by migrants across the Bering Strait. Today it's populated by almost 750,000 people. On January 3rd, 1959, thousands of years after the first people stepped onto Alaska, it would become the 49th member of the United States. But before it could become a state, it would have to join as a territory. Where did it start? First discovered by Europeans in 1741, explorer Vitus Johannes Bering, the landmass we now call Alaska is a massive part of the United States. It's double the size of Texas, the other big ass state. Is everything bigger in Texas? Then everything is huge in Alaska. The state is bigger than most countries. Only 18 are bigger. Alaska began as a Russian territory in the late 1700s, but was mostly left alone except for a few Russian fur traders and the local Inuits. So it's no surprise that being given the chance to sell their massive piece of real estate, they jumped at the chance. Who was the buyer? The United States, of course. But who in the United States wants to buy this huge, cold, mostly frosted land in the North? His name is William H. Seward, who was the Secretary of State and was a huge fan of buying things. On top of buying Alaska from the Russians, William tried to buy Greenland and Iceland from Denmark. The US Congress said no, but if they hadn't, the United States might have had a couple more stars to add to their other 50 on the flag. Actually, it would probably be just one star since Greenland would probably never support a population large enough to qualify for statehood. But you never know. William was shut down on the icy Atlantic Ocean purchases, but luckily he already bought Alaska, so that one is ours for good. How much did he pay? Actually, not that much. Like, at all. In 1803, Thomas Jefferson bought the Louisiana Territory from Napoleon for 15 million bucks. That piece of land is about 828,000 square miles. Alaska is close to 663,000 square miles, but at the really cheap price of two cents an acre, William bought the future state for only $7.2 million. I mean, that's how much my addiction to Pinkberry costs. I'm in debt. Today on March 30th, 1867, the United States purchased Alaska from the Russian Empire, paving the way for it to become the biggest state in the Union, home to 736,000 Americans, and be the best damn cold and beautiful hat America has ever had. Sorry, Canada. If you like the show, subscribe to the channel for more episodes. If you really like it, click that little bell below next to the subscribe button to get notifications when we upload new videos. Sometimes we make mistakes. If you catch one, let us know in the comment section. We'll post any changes in the description down below. Make sure to check it out before you go for all the updated information. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram if you haven't already. And remember, every day was just a normal day until someone made it special. Thanks for watching. <laughs>